Who'd have thunk? Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. Hey everybody, what's happening? Welcome to Love Always Adventure Often. Today in the bus is paint day. I sanded everything down this morning. That was a lot of sanding. My arms are just about dead, but I'm gonna flip you around and kind of show you what we're up to. And uh, I really love the way the ship lap is looking once it's painted. We're doing a ultra, ultra white. My cousin, my relative, lent me this really cool spray gun that's completely cordless and airless. So it's a battery powered uh, airless sprayer, which has been a lifesaver. It's small, it's compact, but anyway, I'm gonna turn you around and show you what I'm up to. All right, so I started in the back of the bus, so none of this has been painted yet. And I'm kind of masking as I go because the masking is falling down. So I'm trying to get it painted as fast as possible before the mask masking falls down. And it is so hot in here. There's the spray gun uh, that I'm using. It's pretty awesome. That little bag right there just needs to be filled up with paint. And uh, it's an airless, cordless spray gun. It's pretty awesome. One thing I am completely surprised by is how much paint I'm going through. So. I don't even think I have half the surface area painted yet, and I've gone through two gallons of paint. So I think all, when it's all said and done, it's probably gonna take about four gallons of, of paint, which surprises me. I thought it would take about two. It's a little bit tough to figure the square footage. I mean, not really. I could have tried a little bit harder, but uh, I gotta go on a paint run because I'm out of paint, but that surprises me how much it took. So anyway, paint's looking pretty good. Uh, hoping to get it done in one day so we can move on get cabinets in tomorrow make it a killer weekend on the bus I am so stoked on this progress Good morning my friends, so it's the day after paint day and uh, I got the whole thing painted yesterday and Then I came out this morning to be very disappointed in the result. I don't know if yeah, you can definitely see it on camera so you see how uh, some of it's very, very glossy, or the semi-gloss that we picked, and some of it's very stipply, super uneven uh, sheen on the paint, and that's my fault. Um, I tried to stretch the paint last night. We were going on our fourth gallon, and it was getting dark, and I tried to stretch the paint and just got some thin spots. So this morning I've gone back, I got two more gallons of paint, so that's a total of six gallons for the bus. It's blown me away how much paint this thing is eating up. But anyway, so I'm gonna get a nice thick coat on everywhere today and hopefully that takes care of the problem. And uh, hopefully next clip I'm showing you a beautifully even sheened uh, bus. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm just joining you from our newly installed nature's head toilet. It was really easy to install. Uh, once we had our placement right and you know our placement allowed for the hinging of the top and it's where we wanted it just had two of these cool little brackets um, that uh, are quick releases so when you got to empty it you just unscrew this all right my hands are a little a uh, little painty right now so I just got in place and put the brackets on the toilet and then once it was in place I just screwed these down into the floor there's two of them on each side and that makes it easy for emptying quick release. And then on the other side is where you do the wiring for the fan. I'm gonna clean these up with some electrical tape um, and make them look all pretty. But basically one's labeled positive for the 12 volt system. So just clamp those together and uh, your ground. And then that just plugs in right there. And the fans running so this is your exhaust fan basically it takes odor and allows for air circulation inside of the composting chamber um, 
but it's cool. So the main part, this part is your composting chamber. Yep, still haven't installed the handle, it comes with a spray bottle. And then this is your urine tank. So you just lift this thing up to empty and you pull your urine tank out and empty that. See how quickly we feel that thing. And another sweet thing about uh, our restroom is, as you can see, we have this nice mirror in our bathroom. It reflects you sitting on the toilet. <laughs> oh, yikes. Beautiful, some nice bathroom worthy artwork right there on that wall. And uh, it'll be complete. And I'm working on installing finished electrical right now. So that's fun. Hey, what's happening everybody? I'm working on the finished electrical. So I'm putting, right now I'm putting all the can lights in. 12 volt DC LED can lights or recess lighting. These little guys right here. I love them. I think they're amazing and I'm going to link them in the description below because if you are building a schoolie or remodeling an RV or whatever, you should definitely look into these because look how big they are compared to my hand. I mean, they're tiny little guys, but they put off great light. So I'm currently cutting them in. I'll show you how it goes. Okay, so I basically found something that was the right diameter for uh, the, the light and I made sure that I had, the, the lights have these um, flanges on them. Oops. So the lights have these flanges on them where obviously you want to cut the hole just the size of this smaller so that that flange right there covers up the hole and looks neat, nice, neat, and clean like I just showed you on the other ones. I like this angle. You can't see my mouth moving. You don't know if it's me actually talking. This could be voiceover right now. Whatever. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to cut this hole. I am using just a Dremel tool with a router bit. Now, obviously I have to be incredibly careful with these wires. To be honest, I had quite the dramatic experience last night. I actually cut a few of them and pulled them out. And so I had to retrace them back and kind of run some wires and uh, finagle it a little bit. So be really careful if you have your wires hanging like this um, and just steer very, very clear of them. So one thing I discovered was that my first couple that I did, um, I cut right on the line of my, my trace line. And unfortunately that ended up being just a little bit too uh, wide. And on my first couple, I have a few like little corners showing once the light's in. So um, you'll obviously want to try to avoid that. So now I cut just inside the line, and that has seemed to work out really good. Anyway, just clean this hole out a little bit. Now I'm just gonna cut, these are excessively long, so I'm gonna cut those down, and then I'm gonna use these little buggers to uh, basically connect the LED to the wiring. We'll see how it goes. So I'm just using the inside of these pliers to clamp. Okay, so I got those connections done. Now I'm just gonna find a place to tuck some of this excess wire just between the insulation and the ship lap. Get it out of the way. Coil some of this little wire up, because that's not gonna matter. And then these LED lights just have this spring-loaded kind of retrofit mechanism where you just pull these tabs back, push it up in. Let's test her out. It's working. Light successfully installed. Hey, one other quick thing I'll show you with the lighting that I'm pretty happy about. I didn't know how this would work out and I didn't do this everywhere. I actually only did it back here in the bedroom but I was curious as to whether these light switches that are made for 110 systems, 
if they would work with the 12 volt LEDs. And I, I realized that now thinking about it, there's no reason why they wouldn't. Uh, but I was anyway, I just was curious and I've seen some people talk about it online. But yeah, it definitely works. So right here I've got this light switch and it's controlling these two recessed lighting fixtures inside the bedroom. So who'd have thunk? Wow, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.